Shopify is an e-commerce solution that makes it easy to sell products online. It's simple and straightforward to set up with very little technical skills required. It's also one of the fastest ways to get up and going with your online store so you can start making money. In this video, we will go over the steps of signing up for a Shopify account with a free 14 day trial, no credit card needed, and we'll go over setting up your Shopify account to work with your registered domain. If you don't have a domain name already, the first video in this series goes over the steps of registering your own custom domain. I also suggest watching the second video which shows you how to set up a free email account allowing you to send and receive email using your registered domain. I've put a reference link that you can click on and this will allow you to sign up for a 14 day trial. Here we're going to go ahead and enter in the email address we want to use for the store. I'm going to enter matt at sfdressco.com and this is my custom domain. I already set this email up which is a lot more professional than using Gmail or some other type of service. Now we're going to go ahead and click get started. Now it's going to ask us to enter in a password we want to use for this store and your store name. Just choose what you want it to be called. I'm just going to call it SF dress code. And then click create your store. All right, now it's asking how we want to sell. In this example, we're just going to say online store. You can always set up to use the POS system later. So, but for this example, we're just going to do online store and then we'll click next. And here I've got to put in my information. And here we're going to select if we're already selling or not. Um, we're going to say I haven't started selling products, but if you already are, you can select the one that's appropriate to you. And how much does your business make in a year? Just getting started. And this is only if you're setting it up for a client, which you can select. But in this case, I'm setting it up for me. And we'll click enter store. And now we have our home page. The next thing we're going to do is set up the domain that you've already registered. We're going to go to online store and then select domains. Up here at the very top, we're going to click add existing domain. And I'm going to put in the domain sfdresscode.com. And I'm going to click add domain. Now it's popping up a screen with probably one of the most technical things you'll ever have to do setting up your store. We need to put an A record in for our domain name pointing to this IP address, which is the servers for Shopify. Don't worry. It's actually pretty simple. All you need to do is copy this IP address and then we're going to set it up. If you log into your Namecheap account, which I've already done, or if you use a different domain registrar, you can log in there. We're going to add the A record. In Namecheap, I'm going to click here to view my domains. And then I'm going to select sfdresscode.com. Over here under host management, I'm going to select all host records. And here's where we're going to enter that information. Right now, this domain is currently just going to a parked page. So we're going to just change this to an A record. And we're going to replace this with the IP address. I'm going to go ahead and click done because it also is going to want us to do a second DNS entry. So here is sfdresscode.com and then www.ssdreffcode.com. And we actually have to enter in a second DNS entry for that to work as well. So I clicked on the link and I'm going to click view instructions. And here it's going to ask us to set a C name record, www, to this address. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go back to my name cheap 
control panel. And it already has www here. We're just going to have to replace this with that domain that it was listed. I'm also going to drop this TTL down to 300. Right now it's currently set to 1800, which means it's going to take about 30 minutes for these changes to take place. I like to set mine to 300 seconds, which is about five minutes. So if changes ever need to be made in the future, it won't take as long. And now I'm going to click save changes here at the bottom. And again, these changes are probably going to take about 30 minutes. So we'll come check on this in a little bit and make sure that it's working properly. Okay, so it's been a little over half an hour now, so these DNS changes should have propagated by now. I'm going to go ahead and click refresh up here on the screen. And as you can see, all these switched over to OK. So the next thing we need to do is choose our primary domain. Right now, by default, it has a Shopify domain. We can change this to whatever we want. I'm just going to go ahead and change it to sfdresscode.com and then redirect all traffic to this domain. So that, that, that way, no matter where you go, it's going to always go to this domain. And I'm going to click Save. So now, if I open up a new tab and go to sfdresscode.com, You can see that this opening soon screen pops up and Shopify puts this here just because the store hasn't been set up yet. And um, you'll also notice if we do www.sfdresscode.com, it's going to redirect right to sfdresscode.com. So now your store is all set up using your custom domain and you're ready to start setting up products.